good morning welcome to day seven of my run a mile every day for 30 days um vlog you guys it is sunny outside this is such a huge different from difference than yesterday i was like yesterday i was like last night that game we were outside for four hours and for the jv game that first game that wind and that rain it was like it was so windy and it was so strong that it was like blowing the rain sideways it, like it was ridiculous but they played anyway honey because they're like football so they're gonna play anyway i was like y'all are nuts and so um it was crazy and so like during the JV game, the halftime was only like five minutes, so we didn't have time to like go inside and get warm. But after the JV game, they had like 15 minutes before the varsity game, so we went inside and like stood under this heater. It was ridiculous. We went back outside. It was the most miserable experience I've had in a long time. Like I could not even. I could feel my feet. I could like I just was not prepared for. I was just not prepared for the weather. And just knowing it's outside, I need to like think about that. So I might pick up some of those games because it was actually fairly easy. So it wasn't like, it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be. It was fairly easy. So I might pick up some of those games if they're still available. I don't know that there's anybody clamoring to go get those games and stuff like that. But spring season is just kind of terrible for like, um spring sports because the weather's so off but anyway i'm gonna knock out this mile and then i'm gonna go back inside and um show you guys my grocery haul because i just got paid so i just went grocery shopping using my budget method honey so let me knock out this mile and then i'll hit y'all later okay i'm done it might look like i'm in the same spot as when i started this video because i just ran out and back so from my house to like this dead end there's a half mile so then I just go out and then turn around and come back. So that's why. So now I'm just walking towards my place. But yep, done and done. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I don't know. But 1.16 miles. Pace 11.25. Still super windy. I think yesterday was 18 miles per hour cold and rainy today the wind is 15 miles per hour i didn't check it right now i checked it yesterday to see what the weather is going to be this morning so i can believe that but it doesn't feel as cold even though it's in the 30s i don't even have like the under like my second jacket on i just have a t-shirt on under this run coat yeah i just have a regular t-shirt on it's not dry fit honey it's polyester and cotton listen that's what i like i don't like the dry fit shirts but anyhow i'm gonna go inside i'm going to drink some water i'm gonna set up my groceries so i can do like a quick grocery haul with you guys but today it's just a chill day for me it is wednesday i did not go to work today but i'm gonna save that story for my financially fit friday and if I forget to tell you on Friday, remind me and I will let you know. But anyway, I'm going to go on and head inside and see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back in the house now. Let me move you guys back a little bit. I got my headband on because I did not lay my edges down and I don't feel like it. This is what we do. This shirt is from, I hosted a 5K race last summer. It was called Rock the Block 5K Shakeout and Kids Fun Run. So this shirt is from that. A race I'm very proud of. My first live race that I ever hosted. It was fabulous, but I just thought I'd wear, wear it today. But, um, but yeah, so I went grocery shopping. At first I went to the ATM, my bank's ATM, to get um, my $100 out for um for food so that i can go grocery shopping and what's interesting is i went to the grocery store and was like oh i didn't go to the atm so i backed out went to the atm and then came back to the store because i'm like i really need to work the plan right i can't say a plan doesn't work if i don't try it right 
So in the store, I could tell, like, oh, I would have normally done that. I would have normally done that. I would have normally grabbed that. Like, oh, I might need that. Like, I would have done that at the grocery store, even though I have a list. So I stuck to my list. I did not. The only thing I bought that wasn't on my list was eggs. But that worked out. But it worked out. I still have, for my $100, I still have, let me see, like 10, 15, um, 20, $21 left. So, right? $21 left. So, I bought some um, hamburger buns. And these are not buns I would have normally bought. I would have normally bought the low-carb buns that are almost $6. This was less than $4. So, that. I bought some Impossible Burgers, um, and then I had to get eggs, which um, they used to have like the half box of eggs, like the half dozen, but they didn't have that because I don't just eat eggs just to eat them, so I buy them because they go in a recipe or something, and in this case, I needed one egg for my cornbread. So we'll see. Maybe I can make some pancakes because I have some flour I have some baking powder so I'm sure I'll find things to do with the eggs I got my two boxes of Nutri-Grain um, bars like breakfast bars so I can eat these like um, either in the morning after like for breakfast or I can eat them after a run just to give me like to because um, from what I understand like after you run now mind you I'm not a, like training or anything I'm not like in training so I don't know how important it is, but I heard that like after you run, it's important like within that first 30 minutes to get something in your body. So these can serve that purpose. I definitely gonna throw one or two of these in my bag every day when I go to work, except it's not gonna be important because um, next week we're on spring break. But tomorrow we don't get out until one o'clock. So I'm definitely gonna be hungry before we get out of school for the day. So I'll throw one of these in my bag. Then I bought some cornbread muffins, the famous Dave's cornbread muffins. Um, I got the Best Choice brand um, non-dairy creamer. So there's a smaller one that costs the same. It was exactly the same, but it wasn't 16 ounces. I don't know what it was, like 12 ounces. So I got this one. Even though it's not cute to not buy a brand name, I do not care because ain't nobody paying my bills for me. Then I got some lettuce. I still have a little left over from the other day. Half and half for the corn chowder I'm going to make. And what's interesting is that you can use half and half or heavy whipping cream. Heavy, heavy whipping cream was almost $6. So I got half and half, which was under $3. And then I needed some unsalted butter only for the corn chowder. I don't know what other occasion I'm going to use this butter. So once I use it, I'll probably freeze it so that I can use it again when I make corn chowder. <laughs> and then um, I got 16 slices of cheese. Again, I got the Best Choice brand, um, and it came in under budget. And then the honey butter came in under budget. There were several things I got that was on sale today, so I came in under budget on some things. The, the corn was, um, a little higher than I thought I budgeted four dollars for corn because my original idea was to go to Aldi uh, but I didn't go so the corn was um, four for five dollars so I got two of the cream style corn and then two of the whole kernel corn and that saves me the step of having to blend a blend a portion of the corn because I don't have a blender for that like a heavy-duty blender and then I got coffee um, what else? Let me see. And then I got two onions. So one of these onions is going in the soup and the other onion is to like cut up and put on burgers or in salads or whatever. And then, um, I got some golden potatoes. Um, a portion of these are going to go in the, in the soup. And so what didn't I get? I didn't buy ranch because I think I have some. Let me see. I have 
have enough salad dressing, salad dressings to go on a salad. So I, because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on salad dressing, like even Head Valley Ranch is like five dollars, six dollars, whatever. Because my plan was to buy it from Aldi and I didn't. So or. Like even that Ken's dressing, that's my favorite dressing. Because I feel like dressing has to be good, you know, because otherwise what's the point? And then what else did I get? I didn't get chives. Like you, you can um, cut up chives and sprinkle it over the corn chowder. I didn't necessarily have to have that. Um, and then so ranch, chives. There was something else. I could see it at the bottom of my list. I don't remember. Oh, the French bread pizza because they don't have it at this store. Um, that I went to, so I'll have to like go to Walmart and then I feel like that's it. I feel like those are the only things that were on my list that I didn't get. And the only addition to my list was the eggs. So I just swapped that out instead of getting the salad. Well, the eggs, I only budgeted a dollar or two dollars, I think, because I was going to get it from Aldi and those eggs were, um, just under four dollars. So I think they were three sixty nine. So Anyway, that is my grocery haul, and so right now I took an Impossible Burger out because the plan was to thaw it before I cooked it. You don't have to, so I'm not going to wait until it thaws. So I'm going to go ahead and make that for lunch, get like a side salad next to my burger, and then I don't know if I'm going to come back and cook the corn chowder on camera. I might. I might. I might. Yeah, I might. I wasn't going to, but I think I will. Since I've like gotten my running out of the way, gotten some things out of the way, but I still feel like I need to go to the store because I did also take out a, out from the ATM. So in the Dave Ramsey, the Total Money Makeover, he talks about um, using the envelope system, and like people are kind of weary of that because they're like, well, nobody uses cash anymore. Well, as long as there is cash, I'm gonna use the envelope system. So if people don't want to do it, it's like people have a lot to say about something that they're not doing. So, but people are like, yeah, you know, nobody uses cash, especially kids. They're like, nobody uses cash. Well, I'm going to use cash because it helps me see like what I have left towards that specific thing. So I'm going to use it until I don't have to use it. I think in the future, I'll probably get a card for each of those um, things, like a, gro a card for my groceries, a card for my you know, or whatever, but still, that doesn't, I, would, I don't know, I still have to go check and be like, oh, how much do I have, or whatever, with money, you can just kind of look at it and see what you have, so, I'm going to use the envelope system for my groceries, my um, personal maintenance, and something else, oh, it was going to be gas, but I have a card for gas, so I'm just going to use that, um, yeah, I'm going to just use that for gas, and so, yeah. So that's where we are right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make my lunch. It is 1.32, so it's not too late. I'm going to make my lunch and then, you know, just kind of get some things done, pay some bills. Um, and I did finally get my check from working my extracurricular activities, and it was like hundreds of dollars more than I thought it was going to be. So I might, because it's Easter, and I need something to wear for Easter, because um, so originally I was supposed to work in the two-year-old classroom for, for um, Easter, but because I invited a friend I'm not gonna, who's never been to my church before, I'm not going to invite her and have her sit by herself. So now I feel like I need something to wear that's Eastery. Nothing expensive. I should figure it out, though. I'm going to figure it out, and if I have to go shopping, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Just get something to wear for Easter. I have these, like... Uh, wedge sandals that I can wear or wedge shoes or whatever that I can wear so I can find something to go with shoes that I already have that would be ideal because I don't want to buy shoes so we'll see but anyhow oh I do have a top but I don't have because I don't want to wear jeans I think that's where I feel like I'm having a like dilemma about what to wear because I don't want to wear jeans on Easter because I'm like I do have like this cute top but I don't want to wear jeans because I don't remember what I wore that with. But anyhow, I'll see y'all a little later. Hey, y'all, it's a whole nother day. <clears throat> I ghosted y'all last night. <laughs> so today's video and yesterday's video will be together. So I just ghosted y'all last night. I had, I had things to do and I could have come back on, but 
I decided that I did not want to cook the corn chowder last night because I would have made it, but I wouldn't have filmed it. So today I'm going to, today after work, I'm going to make it. So, so yeah, and that'll be my dinner for tonight because we get out early today. We get out at one o'clock. So right after we get out, I'm going to run my mile and then I'm going to um, come home and cook. So yeah, so this is day eight. So yesterday was day seven. And the first time I started this run a mile a day for 30 days challenge, I only made it to day seven. So we are on day eight today. Um, so we're looking forward to double digits and it'll be good. So today's weather. So right now it's 20 degrees. So I went and warmed my car up. But it says that by this afternoon, it's supposed to be 50 degrees. And it's not supposed to be a cantankerous windstorm today. So we shall see what it looks like. So I am just getting ready for work. I'm early. And the reason why I'm early now, as opposed to like before when I was always like running by the skin of my teeth, is because I, t I took the workout out Um so I have not been working out in the mornings. I've just been running after work. But what I'm going to do is I think next week is a good week to um, probably incorporate workouts back in. So like uh, spring break. So what I want to do is I want to start by adding maybe two days a week for um, working out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So on um <clears throat> So maybe I'll add working out on Tuesdays and Thursdays and do a weightlifting routine. And during the work week, that would be, I can't even say it would be in the evening because, um, because I'll be working like volleyball and things like that. And that's on Tuesday and Thursday. So maybe it'll be Monday and Wednesday. I don't know, but I need to pick two days during the week that I'm going to work out in addition to running so that I can like start putting that back in because run it runners um like to choose running over strength training but I think the two together makes a more stronger body so that's what I'm gonna do I want to get back to including workouts in but I don't think I want to include them in the mornings because I do like taking my time in the morning and not like rushing and getting to work barely before the bell rings so I like this It's kind of leisure. It's kind of a leisurely way to start my day. So I think that's what I want to do. So I just made my coffee and now I just got to get my um, water. Listen, showing up to work on time, bills paid on time. Listen, this 2024 is going to be my year because I'm like, I just need to like, I feel like my habits have never been in check. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of like fly by the seat of my pants and then I'm always finding myself in a bind, like especially with finances. I'd be like, oh, it'll work out later. It'll work out. <laughs> it'll figure itself out later. But no, like I don't like that. That makes me anxious, you know, and I don't want to be anxious, you know, especially when it's a situation that I have control over. Like I can completely have control over that. So I don't need to be anxious about it, you know? So, like, because I'm tired of, like, being in situations that I put myself in. And then it's like, well, God, rescue me. And not that he wouldn't, but it's like I, sh I need to figure out how to not be in that place in the first place. You know, like overspending and things like that. So something else I decided to do. So I did get paid for my extracurricular activities. And so in my budget... I I think yesterday I was talking about I'm going to buy something to wear for Easter. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wear what's in my closet, wear what's in my closet, because those are the little excuses I make for overspending. So I did in my um, budget have a line item for I put $60 in a personal maintenance envelope. And so what I'm going to do is also from the extracurricular uh, payment, I'm going to take $60 from that and put it in my maintenance budget. Um, so I am going to do that. And so what I plan to do is I get my nails done. So yesterday I just bought some things that I needed. 
I bought like a lotion like this, one of these. These are like two bucks, a little less than two bucks. I bought some primer for my face, eyebrow pencil. Honey, finally, can we just say the eyebrows are eyebrowing? Okay, so I needed an eyebrow pencil and some hair gel and what else did I get? I feel like I got, were there those four things? I feel like I got one more thing, but I can't remember. But those were like things that I got, like just maintenance things that I needed. And so because it's Easter, I'm going to get my nails done. And that'll be what the $60 is um, from that. But other than that, I'm not going to buy anything to wear because then it'll get into, oh, well, now I need shoes. Oh, now I need jewelry to go with this. And now, nope, we're going to wear a pink top and some black pants, honey. That's what we're doing for Easter. And the Lord is going to love it. He's going to love it because he will. Because he does not want me going broke to try to look like everybody else with the hats on Sunday. I'm going to just have to be plain. I'm going to just have to be plain. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm here for it. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. So I don't know if y'all want to hear about this budget stuff during the week, but it is a part of my life because it definitely plays into how I live life. <laughs> it definitely plays into that. So I just included a little bit, but I get more detailed about it on Fridays for my Financially Fit Fridays. Um, so I'll get more detailed about it on that. And I can show you my budget and show you like I've checked off the things that I've paid for. So the next step is to make an appointment to get my uh, front brakes replaced. I'll do that. And what else do I have to do from that outstanding list? Pay my student loan, like bring that current. And then what else? Get my taxes done. It's not yet April, so I still got a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Get my taxes done and pay the taxes from before. And so that's what I want to do. I want to pay my taxes from before and then file taxes because I don't want them coming after me, honey. I don't know that they would come after me for the little pennies that I owe, but I want to do what's right. I want to do what's right. And I remember years ago, years and years ago, I was still like, I had to be, was I in high school? I feel like I was in high school. And I remember my mom saying, like... She was trying to, because I've struggled with finances my entire life. Like, I just didn't know anything about managing finances or anything. So, of course, when I'm in high school and I'm working and things like that, we have to file taxes. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> you know, we have to file taxes and stuff. And so my mom, like, it was encouraging me then to, like, you, like, like, because you're going to get to a, because I, obviously if I live at home, my parents are paying for everything. So we don't feel that sting of, you know, not having enough money because your parents will come through for you or, you know, like certain things are taken care of. Like they're going to buy food and they're going to, you know, pay rent. Certain things are taken care of. So you kind of take that those pennies that we're making at high school for granted. And so um, she was like, like, there's going to be a time where you're going to be believing God for something. But like, if you're not following the rules of the land, you know, because the Bible tells us that we need to follow the laws of the land, you know, and one of those is, you know, um, like paying taxes. So it's like if, if I don't, if I'm not even following the rules of the land or the laws of the land, like God's not going to give me more than that because I'm not even doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, with my money and with my finances and so I feel like, you know, this is a good time. This is a great time to get my finances in order when I don't, when I'm not married, I'm not checking with somebody else, you know, and it'll take a lot of that out of it. Like if I go into marriage, like pay, having paid down my debt and, you know, current on my bill or something like, I don't feel like, like I wouldn't want that to be on somebody else. So now it's like as good a time as any to like get my finances in order. So then when we do get married, like there's not this tug of war about like what he got to pay for and all this stuff. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like that's such a contention. Um, and let me just say this because I know this can be a little long in the morning. But one of the things that stood out to me when I was watching Love is Blind. So I did go back and I watched all the seasons. So I started with season six and then I like worked my way back. 
And something that would come up was like um, things, not just financially, but things in people's personal lives that they didn't have quite sorted out and that they didn't like reveal while they were in the pods. You know what I'm saying? And so um, whether it was something financial, like um, they would get with somebody, they would be like the men would propose to somebody and then the women would be like, oh, so if this breaks, are you going to help me pay for this? And da 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 like, oh, I'm going to need $20,000 for it. Like, things like that. Like, this expectation that the men are now, like, helping them pay their bills and things like that. And the men are just like, what, what, what? Because they, they weren't, because they had things financially, like, either, like, this one man was like, well, I'm debt free, but I don't have that kind of money. You know, things like that. And not that, and none of them lied about it, but they just weren't forthcoming and like, you know, their expenses. Or there was a guy who had had relations with men, but now he's coming here to have a wife and he would never reveal it. He never revealed it until after they got engaged and after they left the pods. And like, he's wondering like, why is there contention? And it's like, okay. So it's like, I don't want to be in a position where I'm afraid to reveal my financial situation to whomever I date or I get engaged to, you know, because I feel like as a woman, if you are a man who has like filed bankruptcy or, you know, you are barely paying your own bills or something, like I feel like you need to give me the opportunity to make an educated decision. You know, like it's not fair to like keep things a secret if that's something that could like be a deal breaker you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying ain't nobody got to be rich or nothing like that but i have to understand like what's going to be happening because if our finances are intertwined once we get married now we're both responsible for things right like my friend like well i won't say that but um you both become responsible for what for whatever's you know situational misconduct financial misconduct that your spouse has engaged in you know so i don't want to be in a situation where i'm embarrassed to talk about like oh you know i don't have savings but if i can say that i'm out of debt that my bills are up to date and that like the money i make covers my you know like i don't want them to feel like it's going to be burdensome to them and yes we can say like men you know if they love you they don't care like they'll help you and stuff like that listen I wouldn't want that financial burden or strain of somebody who like owes a lot of money or, you know, like, I don't know, that don't have their financial situation in order. And that doesn't mean you have to be rich. It's just like you have to have a plan. Like you, like if you don't have a, I don't know, I don't know. But that's why, like, I just want to get things in my life in order so that I can be forthcoming about where I am financially because I think that's such a big deal like when people get married and you know are joining their finances and you know getting a house or purchasing a house you want things to be in order you know so anyway getting it together in 2024 and um yeah this is going to be my year this is my year this is my year so anyway, I'm going to get ready to go to work and I will see you guys uh, probably either out on the track or out on the trail, wherever it takes me today. Hey guys, I finished my run <clears throat> outside, but I was, um, I couldn't record outside because there were like kids around, like the girls track team was outside and they were, um, they were practicing or setting up to practice because we got a one today. So I think their practice was going to start at 140, but they were out there setting up. So I couldn't record because kids were in um, close proximity to me. So, um, but anyhow, Laura, my beach buddy coach, has invited me to lunch and she is treating me. So that's what we're doing. I just ran my mile. I think my time was 1128. So. That's what we're going with. I just don't want to be shiny. Y'all know how I am about being shiny, honey. I don't like the glow. I don't like the glow. I don't like the dewy look. I like the matte look. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just covering up all my sweat. So don't talk about me. But we are going to go and have lunch. 
at this restaurant that she's paying for, so I'm not breaking my budget. And she knew that I was not going to break my budget, and so she offered. So I was like, okay, hunty. And she's also coming to church with me. Here she comes. Here she comes. Say hey. Hey, hey. I was just telling my YouTube friends that you're treating me to lunch today. Yeah. And how it's going to be delicious. about it I am. It's going to be all the yummy. Yes, and you have to tell me about the April challenge more because I got to figure that out. Oh, you better believe it. It's going to be Whoops. Pilates, which people think is like no big thing, and then you realize you need a lot of power. <laughs> so that's Wait, I thought you said it was any kind of activity for 30 minutes. I mean, it could be. I like it when everybody does things together. But that's not what you said. Okay, well, <laughs> you want to be in my group or not, is what I say. I feel like she'd be changing the rules along the way. Do you know what we call that at my house? We call that Calvin Ball, because they do that in a Calvin and Hobbes cartoon. So anytime somebody just starts making up rules to a game halfway through, you tell them they're playing Calvin Ball. So, I think that's what's happening here, y'all. Look at my hair, Lisa. It looks beautiful. We got to get it together. Let's get it together, people, but we're going to go eat now, honey. Uh, mm, mm, Let's mm, do mm, it. Mm. All right, bye. <clears throat> I am back at home. <laughs> we went to lunch. It was glorious. It was glorious. I had a, um, what did I eat? I had, we had an appetizer. It was these, I don't even know what it was called, but basically it was like these fried cheesy risotto balls. I don't know what they were called. Delicious, hands down. I almost so that was our appetizer, and I almost got it for my meal, but I was like, whatever. And then for my meal, I got a margarita pizza that we kind of shared, and she had a salad. And then for dessert, I got the ooey, boo, ooey gooey butter cake. <laughs> so I brought home leftovers. It doesn't look as appetizing now, but I think the picture might be in my thumbnail. But ooey gooey butter cake. Um, which I'm going to continue to eat this evening. I'm going to continue to eat it. And I know I promised I was going to make some corn chowder tonight, but I am super full and I doubt that I'm going to eat anything else tonight. I don't think I'm eating anything else. I think that I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wind down. I am officially on spring break. I'm going to watch me some... Uh, what show am I watching now? I'm watching Cold Black. It's this hospital show on Amazon Prime, but it's like free. It's like freebie. It's not the, I don't have to pay for it. So that's what I'm watching. And um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to come back and make the corn chowder on, there's my corn on the counter. I think I'm going to come back and make it tomorrow because I'm going to um, be home, at least in the daytime. In the evening, we have Good Friday service. So I'm going to go and help out at four, because we're making appetizers for after service. I don't know why we call them appetizers. It is after service, but it's like finger foods. That's what it is, it's finger foods. So I'm gonna help prepare that, and then we have service, and then we afterwards we're gonna eat, but I don't think I'm gonna stay for the cleanup after. I think I'm gonna um, help out beforehand, and then just after church, just mingle or whatever. So yeah, we had a good conversation at lunch. It's always good to have good friends. But anyhow, I think I'm going to close this out for today. I think I've showed you my run for today. Well, at least my watch. Did I show you my watch? I probably didn't even do that much. It's probably in the thumbnail because kids were outside, so I couldn't really record. So I just got my myelin and got out. Um, we, at the last minute, decided to go to lunch, so that's why I just did a mile. Otherwise, I probably would have done a little more, but I don't know. But... Happy spring break. Happy start to my spring break. And if you do not have spring break, I am sorry. I do. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to close it out and I will see you guys tomorrow.